two packages and this must be one of the strangest packages I have gotten in a long long time. Leave that for now. Let's dig into this big package here. Serial cable. So basically, this is another PCM 60X charge controller. So I now have two. The reason why I have two is because I have plenty of panels and I want to be able to control them somewhat. So this will be the second one. Let's dig into the other package. First of all, when you get the package in a bag, you start to wonder what's going on. They have just used this big stripe and attached it to this one here. It does feel like there is a package inside with a lot of loose parts. And that's generally no good. So let's open this one up. Put this apart. See if we can what's going on here. Hmm. I'm not sure I like that. Another box inside a box, inside a bag. Contact is set with mechanical and electrical interlocking. So basically, as you can see here. This is automatic transover switch. Uh, this is the CEM 65, 100 amps. So it should be more than enough to switch my grid network. That is, should be 230 volt, 3 phase, so 20 horsepower. Yeah, it should be more than enough. That should be 18 kilowatts at least. That's really, really cool. This one I like. You guys have been asking for this. Let's see if we can get this up. Um, though it's not very cool that the parts are destroyed inside. That sucks. That's the mechanical interlock. It seems like the corners are broken off. Three corners. That's pity. Uh, I'm going back to the cellar with that. Um, the control part is there, and they should be tied together. Something like that. And when they are that, you should not be able to switch both on at the same time. I'm not sure how that's done, but I will look into it. Anyways, guys. This is very very interesting because this is something I think some people can use. Um, this is a rather big one. This is comparing to a normal size DIN. And you can see the difference in size is massive. This is also a transfer switch with three positions. A manual such a way. And that one is really good as well. If you do think this could be something for you I have linked these products down below. Both the this one and that one. Unfortunately, even though this should not happen, I need to go back to the cellar and ask for that. And here's the last piece. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this a little bit different video. And I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe to see what's actually going on with these parts and how I mount them up. And take care mates. Bye.